Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here. We're going to be doing the Anomaly mission today, but it is December 8th, 2023. And why am I telling you that? Because if you go to start a new game right now, you're going to find that there's a, the Redux community expeditions are now live. Each expedition, all four of them, are going to be a total of seven days long. So today is the first day for the Redux of Utopia. So you have seven days to complete this expedition if you missed it at the early part of the year. And we will be showcasing this a little bit more. I have a video coming out later tonight that will have this in it. Not to mention uh, we might be doing some of this <clears throat> Pardon me, on, the, uh, on my live stream tomorrow afternoon. That is Saturday afternoon, December 9th, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. I would love to see you all stop in because we're going to be doing a... We're going to start with a multiplayer run with me and my good friend Sugar Rat are going to get together on a multiplayer run to do a extreme permadeath no starter ship challenge. We're going to race to see who can find a ship first and get to the space station. Whoever makes it to the space station first wins. And it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be on our Discord channel talking to each other. You can watch both of our channels at the same time and we'll be able to... Uh, basically uh, hang out with with each other while we're doing all this so we're going to do our anomaly uh mission today again i'm going to pull up my main save and while we're zooming in through the universe here elephant in the room no man's sky is getting a big update looks like it's going to be happening sometime in the first part of next year we're probably looking at february is usually when a lot of the updates go through i'm still waiting for the star lines to start appearing there we go okay good um that was a bit of a long pause there, unusually long. So, uh, yeah, they're going to get a big update. Looks like we got these brand new space stations we're going to be looking at and new ships as well. Now, there's been speculation on whether these going to replace other ships that are in the game. But I have a serious, very serious idea. We have Sentinel ships and we have Sentinel multi-tools. We have Atlantid multi-tools, but no Atlantid ships. I guarantee you that this is most likely, I'm 90% certain, these, these, these are going to be the new Atlantid ships. So what's they going to be their specialty? I don't know, other than looking really, really cool. If you've seen some of the previews from the Game Awards last night, absolutely fascinating. But the other elephant in the room, of course, is Light No Fire. Absolutely fascinating. I am really anticipating this. I have it as my wish list already. I love it what they're going to do with this game. It looks absolutely incredible. So I'll put a uh, link to the uh, video uh, trailer for that as well in the description down below. So please check that out while you're at it. So we should be popping up on the space station any, any time now. I'm not sure where I'm at. I think I'm on my ship. Yep, on the freighter. There we go. We're just going to let, let everything just kind of flow in once everything gets caught up. Love that uh, cape, by the way. It's one of my favorites. So there I am. Hi, guys. Good to see you. Let's wave hi, shall we? Let's just give a good quick wave while we are here. Hi. Okay, there we go. All right, so now that he's done waving, let's go to the anomaly and check things out real quick, shall we? So we're going to take our usual ship. We have an assortment of ships, but I will probably be giving up one ship sooner or later in order to accommodate this new ship. I'll keep my living ship, of course. I've got that one there, and I've got my little ball over there. But uh, I've got a couple of ships. Like, I've got a, uh, a swept wing like this one that I keep in my inventory just because. So we'll use this one for today. And let me see. I don't think I have the anomaly on my scopes. It's probably back at the space station because I'm, I'm, I'm in a system right now that I'm doing some looking for a new Atlantid multi-tool. So we'll go ahead. Yeah, see, it's all the way over there. I'll just pull it in over here now. And we'll go ahead and get this done. Yeah, Light No Fire looks incredible. Ancient Earth, fantasy-based, Earth-sized, open-world MMO. Holy mackerel. I mean, I can't even think of what this is going to be like. It's absolutely incredible. I'm very, very excited about it. But we're going to dutifully do our anomaly mission for the day. And as you can see, it's already floating above the uh, Nexus over there, so we'll check out what that's about. So I wanted to give some of that news. Again, live stream tomorrow night. Check it out. We will do some of the expedition, too. If We, uh, we should have time to do it. Uh, taming wild creatures. Here we go again. We're going to initialize that and start it. Off we go. 
So let's get our anomaly mission done. And you can get on to your evening. Or day, depending upon where you are. And we're going to get boosted to whatever system they want us to go to. And we'll check that out. If you're new to the game, these Nexus missions can be done by anybody. Uh, that is, the Anomaly missions can be done by anybody, even if you're a noob to the game. As long as you can ac have access to the Anomaly, you can do these missions. They do scale it for difficulty, depending upon who you are and what you have. So if you were creating a base or something like that, it would just allow you to build whatever base was necessary for yourself. Uh, just gotta wait for whatever planet. There we go. And there we go. You will need to be able to tame wild animals, so you'll have to have access to making food. And getting 1800 Quicksilver is kind of a nice thing. It gives you a real big boost to your Quicksilver supply. Alright, so this is a fauna-dense planet. At least that's what it's saying. Alright, and it really doesn't make a difference where you land. You don't have to land wherever it tells you to, because you'll notice that there is really no place else. So, I mean, if you want to try looking for like that, do a quick scan and look for some place to land that might have a landing pad so you don't have to waste valuable resources taking off and landing and taking off and landing. Uh, yeah, take a look around real quick. Hey, there's another one. Who knows what we'll find, right? Hey, a drop pod. Not that I need one. Uh, I'm fully loaded here, so... I'll take another look, look, look. Oh, you know what this is? This is a dissident planet as well. That's very interesting. So if you have some dissident, uh, have some supplies you need from a dissident world, I'm going to come to a pause here with my ship. Great thing about the Sentinel ships is that they do this. And I don't know why I'm having such graphic difficulty right now. There should be no reason for it. But it seems to be doing okay now. All right. So we're going to come to a landing here and we'll take a look around. So if you need some radiant shards, good place for it. I'm going to come to a landing in this little depression in the ground here. All right, there we go. You know what might have happened, too? Uh, the game updated big time, so it may have taken my graphic settings and changed them all. So that may be what's going on. So, uh, it says I have an echolocator, but that's... Don't just... Well, nothing to pay attention there. Just move along. Uh, starship. We're going to disappear from the starship. We're going to go in here. I want to check the food... Resources right down there. Creature pellets. We got 36. Okay, so we're in good shape. And I usually have them set to a hotkey, I think. Uh, is it six? There it is. 71. We got to get 45 animals tamed. Yeah, I'll put another one over here. Looks like it is a fauna dense planet for once. Look at them pile in. We're already up to. Look at them go. My gosh. Cool looking creatures, too. Love the striping on them. That's pretty neat. Wow, look at them all. Is this amazing? We're already up to 20, and I haven't even... All I did was drop two tablets. And that guy's really, really annoying, isn't he? He just wants to scan everything. Let's drop one more down. Let me see what happens. Look at that. Look at that. Hi. Uh, easy. Easy, buddy. Easy, buddy. Oof. Going crazy there, huh? Look at this. 34, 40... Uh, this is probably the first time I've ever been on such a fauna-dense planet that it literally had so many animals here. Look at this. 41, 42... Looks like there's two more. 43, 44, and 45, 46, 47. <laughs> That's incredible. So, and if you need some uh, feces, uh, these guys are pooping all over the place now. Wow. Absolutely incredible. That is great. So that didn't take any time at all. Um, that's about the fastest I've ever seen it go get done. All right. So we're done here. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Just feeding a bunch of animals. So let's make it back to the uh, anomaly. Yeah, I got attacked by one of those stinking little plants. Darn you, plant. Okay, let's move on. Awesome. Nice little dissident world. So if you need some radiant charge and a place to get them, you can set up a quick base there. That's not a bad idea. All right, let's pull in our anomaly. Planetary interference. Oh, 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 planetary interference. Oh, right there. Okay, good. For some reason, it was a, just a very narrow path where I could actually pull it in. That's very strange. That's okay. That's okay. We're fine. Great game. Check out the trailer down below. Okay. Really, really excited about that. And excited for the updates that are going to be coming to this game and doing the uh, expedition reduxes. Ah, oh, this is going to be a lot of fun this coming weekend. We're going to have a lot of good times.
All right. We're here. Let's go check things out. And we'll, of course, check out the Quicksilver vendor as well, just to see what's going on over there. All right. And survey says, completed mission. Looks like we're getting some walker brains out of this, too. That's actually pretty cool. So those of you who don't have a walker brain yet, fantastic. Do this mission. You get one, which is needed in order to build a... Um, if you look inside my ship here, starship, right? Good. Which is needed in order to build... Oh, I have something damaged? I didn't even know it was damaged. What do you know? Anyway, um, it is this, the conflict scanner. So in order to build that, you require one walker brain. So make sure you get one of those. And this is damaged. I need a microprocessor and I need a warp cell, huh? Okay, so let's at least get this doing. It's always good to maintain things. I didn't... I, like I said, I honestly didn't know it was damaged. I'm sorry. I need a warp cell, so I've got to actually make one. I don't carry them on this ship at all, so there it is. And what else did I need in order to repair you? Uh, looks like we needed a microprocessor, which should be able to build, because I believe I've got two carbon nanotubes right there. There it is, microprocessor. All right. And we are... Oh, for crying out loud. Yep. Um, okay, there we go. Okay, that's our emergency warp is now repaired. You know what? I accidentally used it when I was in battle with somebody, and I wonder if that damages it immediately. It's very interesting. Got to remember that. Anyway, moving on. I never use emergency warp. I don't see any reason to do so. So we're going to create. We should have, there it is, covered silos is now available, all three tiers. You'll notice that there's no other items available yet. That is because of the Redux missions that we're doing right now. You're going to be getting so many different things that it's just not worth it. So we got a covered crate and covered silos, and we got the industrial crane now. Great for building stuff if you guys like to build. Uh, I'm not much of a builder, as you may or may not know, but I'm really, really into the uh, bashing sentinels, or a sentinel slayer, if you will. All right, so that's what we got in there, folks. I think this was probably one of my shortest videos I've had in a while. So we're going to call it here and want to thank you all for watching again tomorrow night. That is Saturday, pardon me, December the 9th at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Live stream. It's a dual stream. Sugar Rat, S-U-G-A-R-A-T. Sugar Rat is an associate of mine. I actually work a uh, job with him on the, we, we, what we do is we have our secular jobs that we work during the day. So we work together on our day job. And we're going to combine together on Saturday afternoon, uh, Eastern Time, in order to do a extreme permadeath, no starter ship challenge together. So we should appear on the same planet together. We're going to go in opposite directions. Whoever finds a ship that can purchase it or a crash ship that is repaired. And the only other rule we have is that the shields have to be repaired too. So that gives an extra third thing that you have to repair on the ship. But once the ship is repaired or you find one that you can trade out and if you can get enough money... You have to make it to the space station. So whoever makes it to the space station first wins. And that's it. Of course, if the other person dies and you win by default, that's another story. And if we end too quickly, then we'll try it one more time. But uh, after that, we're going to go and do the expedition together as well. But I will have a video coming out that later, like I said, later on today or possibly first thing in the morning that will be in regards to the Utopia expedition as I go through it. Got to dig up my notes. It's been almost a year since I played. So anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.